Yo, what's going on, guys? And today we're going to be talking about the fact that James Harden felt Daryl Morey was ghosting him before free agency, and the Sixers were caught off guard by James Harden opting into his contract. I want to hear your thoughts down below. Let's get right into this information. Shout out Ramona Shelburne from ESPN for some of this information, as well as Kelly Iko from The Athletic. So during the 2023 offseason, James Harden was eligible for a four-year, $210 million contract with the Philadelphia 76ers if he declined his $35.6 million player option and became a free agent. James Harden was expecting a contract in that range after taking a pay cut in 2022 and leaving a four-year, $161 million extension on the table with the Brooklyn Nets. Sources tell ESPN's Ramona Shelburne that there was a real debate within the Philadelphia front office on the type of contract they should offer. As an eventual comparison point, Kyrie Irving re-signed with the Dallas Mavericks on a three-year, $126 million deal. James Harden's leverage, or you know what we thought was going to be a leverage play with the Houston Rockets, faded after they hired M.A. Udoka as head coach due to the fact that the Rockets lost interest in James Harden. As free agency approached, Daryl Morey wasn't returning any of the calls from James Harden's camp, meaning he was just ignoring James Harden. Like, I guess he was just moving on. And one source close to James Harden said that because Daryl Morey was ghosting him before free agency, he felt like betrayed. And that's where this whole grievance was started you could say and it's interesting because whose fault is this let's be honest now the Sixers eventually were caught off guard were stunned allegedly that James Harden decided to opt in they were not expecting that at all and it kind of threw whatever plans they had into, you know, like you just, they just didn't have this planned. Now, they insisted they intended to resign Harden as soon as rules allowed. But another source close to Harden said that James Harden took things very personally and he feels like he's been wronged and he can be very stubborn as a result of this. Now, when I look at this situation, I think it's definitely an interesting one because when James Harden was a free agent in 2022 and re-signed that two-year deal for $68.6 million, taking that $15 million pay cut, he was told that he was going to get a refund. ESPN's Ramona Shelbourne said that he knew the reason he was sacrificing was that the Sixers didn't feel comfortable offering him a new maximum contract worth upward of $270 million, which, okay, makes sense. Makes sense. I'm not even comfortable doing that. You'd be lying if you be comfortable giving James Harden that max contract. I give him the, a max one year deal. There you go, bud. Here's one year, one year, bud. That's what we'll give you. But besides that, no, why, why would we give you more? Okay. Why would we put ourselves in that situation? But, Harden had been previously put on the thought process that they were going to give him an extension because he took less money, allowing them to sign P.J. Tucker and Daniel Allison for free agency. And they were even fined and penalized a second round draft pick for illegally contacting and tampering with Tucker in-house before free agency started. Like those second round picks matter. But the, the thought process remains that the Sixers, you know, brought in guys that James wanted. And I think that's where, as basketball fans, this whole thing gets really, really interesting and juicy. Because we all know that James Harden previously had been offered that maximum deal from the Brooklyn Nets. And he wanted to leave. Okay? And now the Sixers are treating him in the same manners that the, the Brooklyn Nets are. And it's kind of funny that supposedly... The big word between the, the two teams is sacrifice. 
which I don't know what sacrifice, as well as we all heard the story that came out yesterday that James Harden ignored the NBA, a.k.a. Adam Silver, on being a 2023 All-Star replacement after Kevin Durant was ruled out of not being able to like participate. The NBA, a.k.a. Adam Silver, reached out to James Harden and asked if he wanted to replace him. Harden ignored the NBA. He was reportedly pouting after not being named to the All-Star team directly. So Adam Silver ultimately named Pascal Siakam as the replacement for Durant. And the Sixers called the attention to the initial snub of Harden, but declined to do more than that as Harden handled the injury replacement situation terribly. Now, we've, we've heard more and more that this situation, I mean, they also brought back, you know, Danny Green, who also tore his knee ACL and LCL and came back. I mean, good for him. But yeah, I think this is a very, very strange. And I, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Because James Harden is a guy who, uh, you know, we all want it to be fine at this point. But I feel like James at this point has made it so difficult, so awkward that it's kind of hard. And when I mean, it's hard, it's just hard to defend him and be on his side because he's kind of an asshole. So for me, I think that's the, the biggest flaw for James working against them. And it's where I want to hear your guys' opinions on what you guys think of the situation and what's going to happen. Because I think we're all rather curious to hear how this all plays out. Because James is just being a man child, am I wrong? Or is it the way it seems like what he's doing? So I'm definitely intrigued to hear everyone's opinions. If there was anything else you guys would have liked to have heard, let me know. Okay, because it seems like everything is, you know, just, just weird with this. Just weird. And I don't know. I just want this all to get figured out. But, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's going to be it for me. Peace out.